I am going to explain about uh, handoff process in mobile communication systems. Actually, handoff means the call will be connected to the next cell site without interruption. Without break, the call is connected to the next cell site. When the user is, I will tell you here, when the user is moving from one cell site to another cell site. For example, this is the cell site uh, and this is the coverage area. Just assume that the coverage area is one kilometer. One kilometer coverage area is that. So this is the cell site one. And one more cell site is there here. And this coverage area is uh, just assume here. It is there here. So this is also one kilometer range uh, for coverage area. So just assume. But the user is on a vehicle and is moving from here to this cell site site. So here is on a vehicle and is moving and call is initiated and talking and while talking he is moving from that is present cell site to next cell site. We can see this. When the user is uh, this out of this cell site, so automatically the call will break because there is no coverage area. Call may, call may be interrupted. So that's the reason the handoff process is uh, required. Without interrupting a call, the call is hand out to the next cell site. Without breaking or without interruption, the call will be automatically connected to the next cell site. I is called handoff process. Present cell site to next cell site, the call will be connected automatically by using MTSO, mobile telephone switching office. So that is the handoff process. So I will tell you how to and what are the different handoffs, how to uh, manage the handoff process. I will explain clearly. So in this, uh, there are two handoffs are there, hard handoff and soft handoff. Soft handoff means you can see this. Uh, this is the coverage area for uh, first cell site, and this is the coverage area for uh, second cell site. So here there is no problem. Uh, the call uh, when the user is moving from this present cell site to next cell site. So this is my cell site one. This is the cell site two. Present cell site one. Second uh, next cell site is to or else present cell site is. Uh, Present cell site is uh, this one and second cell site is two. So here the uh, core is moving from present cell site to next cell site. Uh, in this case, uh, the call is uh, when the user is moving from present cell site to next cell site. So automatically the MTSO, the cell site is automatically send the message to the, that is MTSO. So then the MTSO will take care. Uh, the present cell site to present call to this call will be connected automatically to the next cell site. So because this call is this call is moving from present cell site to next cell site. So please handle to the this call like that. This will send the request to the MTSO. Then MTSO will take care and send the message to the automatically the call is connected to the next cell site. So this is without interrupt, the call is automatically transferred or connected to the present this cell site 1 to cell site 2. Here there is no interruption. So means it is an soft handoff. But here you can see this, uh, there is a break because there is no coverage area while moving from here to here. So that's the reason here if handoff will take place, then it is called as hard handoff. One or two, there are different handoffs are there. That is soft and uh, hard handoff. Queuing handoff means, or delayed handoff means, uh, it is a two level handoff, means uh, two level handoff to level handoff. So means uh, if when the user is uh, moving from present cell site to next cell site, this is the second cell site I am assuming, present cell site to next cell site, 
so here the user is moving uh, on a vehicle and is moving from here to here then definitely here there is a break or there is an interruption so for that uh, automatically this present cell site will send the request to the hand of request to the mtso the user is out of my coverage area please take care of this call then the mtso will take care and will send the call to the next cell site so this process if the first handoff is failed so then if the mtso is busy then in that case uh, uh, the first handoff uh, will be maybe failed so in that case again the two level second level handoff will take place and again it will send the message to the mtso again the mtso will take uh, will take care about this call automatically it will connect it to the next cell site so this process is called as two level handoff and one more is there inter system handoff inter system handoff means i will tell you here so this is one cell site to one cell site to another cell site this is one m one cell site within the mts4 within same mts4 so every mts4 is having a particular number of cell sites for example this mts4 will having that is 12 cell sites like that so if the call is if the call is uh, if the call is uh, connected if the call is connect uh, uh, transferred from within the same mts4 so then it is uh, then it is a inter system handoff intra system handoff means so present this is one mts row to another mts row for example this mts row is also having one more mts row it is also having uh, i am assuming that is seven seven cell sites are there so it covers that is uh, seven cell sites for example seven cell sites so if the call is moving from this mts row one to second stage this is the second mts row if the user is moving from one cell site uh, one mts row area to another mts row area so in that case again uh, the call, mts row will send the request uh, from present cell site to next mts row so this mts row will send the request to the next mts row nearest mts row so to take care of uh, to take care about the present user call so this call is hand out to the next mts row so then it is called as intra system handoff inter system handoff means within the same mts row if the call is moving intra system means one mts row to another mts row two level handoff means uh, if the first mts row request is first handoff request is failed then again second time the handoff request will send to the mts row then it is called as two level handoff and as you know that uh, hard handoff and soft handoff systems uh, queuing handoff means until the handoff is until the handoff is success if it will always send to the that is uh, cell site will always send to the handoff request to the mts row then it is called as queuing handoff first level handoff request is sent to the mts row it is failed second time again again it is sent it is also failed then third time then fourth time again it will send to the request so until we'll get the successful handoff so then it is called as queuing handoff so finally the call is connect hand out to the present cell site to next cell site without any interruption without any break is called as handoff process in cellular mobile communications thank you